Hi, I'm Jacques Ingelbrecht and you are watching From the Cape with Bass, hosted by Daniel Peterson. Good day everybody, today we are here with great bass player Jacques Engelbrecht. Good day Jacques, how are you doing? I'm very well, thank you Daniel. Thank you for, for, for making time for From the Cape with Bass, man. Okay. Um, I'm going to start off with one, my first question. Yes. What's your first musical experience? Um, I would say I would say I started out in church. Mm -hmm. in church, AFM Church, Sixth Avenue, the street. Okay. Yes, and um, that was basically where we were exposed to um, the youth and the ice tech fields and okay. the, the youth rallies, and mm. you know, and we were always active okay. in the church. I think it started there. So, so tell me, why did you choose the bass guitar eventually? Um, basically, um, it's unexplainable. I think it's just the feeling you get when really listening to bass and mm. and um, the groove. Basically, I would say mm. maybe captured the so, part of that when you play bass. Okay, so I've I've interviewed a few guys and they would say that bass chose them. Do you also have that same uh, belief? Um, I wouldn't say that the bass chose me. I would say I am grateful for the gift that was bestowed on me mm. um, by actually because uh, a big secret that I can possibly share here is I, I can't play guitar. I don't play guitar. Mm. I only play bass. Mm. So I would see it as maybe unique to me. And um, yes, and I think it's the foundation. Mm. of the band and also in relation to voices mm. when singing uh, you find that the bass is the tenor you know or the low notes and so it brings back it comes back to the foundation wow the song and the tenor. so um that is very deep and uh, profound or oh, it is actually profound <laughs> um next question um do you have any musical education are you self-taught um did you go to music school or somebody taught you anything? I would say starting out, I had, uh, uh, I had a few a few coaches, you okay. know, uh, if I can make mention, uh, it was the Villa Browns, you know, mm -hmm. the La Brown, it was Brian Fortune, it was, it was quite a few um, guys, but basically I would say our musical education was started in the church. Tell me, do you have any albums that you played on? And um, tell me about the artists that you've worked for. Albums that I've played on, I played with, I recorded with Andrew Young. Mm -hmm. I did the song Years to Love. Okay. And um, the recording artist I worked with was Alistair Isabel, uh, Loiso. Um, Is that Loiso Bala or the new Loiso? The... Is Luis that the Bala? Yes, Louis okay. and um, and then we also and Garth Taylor had the mm. privilege of working with Garth Taylor on the Sobley Red Show. Was, yeah, and um, yeah, I think that was basically mm. was quite a few. That I could talk so, why do, where do you find yourself currently? Do you still play, or are you playing in church? My mm. First love, still, and. Um, uh, Otherwise, uh, waiting in anticipation. Okay, for the next big thing. <laughs> the next big thing. <laughs> That's so cool. Tell me about the gear that you're using. Here, basically, we use. I'm using a Behringer. Behringer for tens here. So this is your church gig. That yes. your church rig, basically. Yes, yes. And this is the Proel power mixer. This is the the mid machine. And uh, this is where we get where we get our bottoms. And our equalizer and some nice tops. Those okay, nice, nice. Those. And then the guitar? Uh, Court, with, uh, we're using, uh, what are we playing? Slinkies. Mm. Slinkies and uh, yes, new strings, active cord, new strings, new battery. and uh, So everything is new, you're ready to gig, ready to gig. Yes. Okay, that's cool. That's so cool, man. Shark, do you have any yes. advice for young up-and-coming bass players and musicians out there? Seeing that you are a more seasoned musician, do you have any advice for for, for us out there? Um, I'd say um, when when getting into the songs or when listening to the songs, try and identify 
what songwriter was thinking was he sad was he mad mm. was he happy was mm. he and approach the song accordingly with that discipline and then give your own interpretation of the song and uh, constant listening mm. always listening uh, get into the modes modes also helps a lot to mm. identify where we are going you know in the songs because uh, um, also as we have learned over the years that, that the, uh, playing bass is the foundation it must be structured mm. you must know the skeleton of the song when the guys were soloing it's not your solo it's about keeping it in the pocket and less becomes more mm. I would say yes um, yeah and uh, if I can add also also found a member of the band just us mm. yeah uh, played with the likes of Karim Daris, Nazim Brown and them all and and also learned a lot there also with those seasoned musicians and like I mentioned Alistair Isabel also also a very finicky guy mm. as far as uh, music is concerned he wants things to be so also a great experience mm. yeah. Jacques thank you so much for your time thank, thank you, so you for much. making time for From the Cape with Bass Godspeed on your journey thank, thank you. you thank you so much thank you. Thank you. liking and sharing this video with your family and friends please follow from the cape with base on facebook instagram and youtube thank you so much